Hello guys today. We are going to create this. To achieve this we need some extra files. First is splatter 1 and splatter 2 PNGs. Second spray PNG. And third spray 2.mov. And your logo. All of these files download links are available in video description. So without delay let's take action. As usual make new comp. Rename it to main. Set resolution to 1920 by 1080. Set FPS to 25 frames per second and duration to 7 seconds. Go to project panel and add splatter 1 PNG into comp. Go to effects and presets and add fill effect on it. Set fill color I am choosing green you can choose whatever you like. Precompose splatter 1 PNG and name it splatter 1. It's Splatter 1. Go to Project Panel and add Splatter 2 PNG into Comp. And set Fill Color to White. It is not necessary to add Splatter 2 PNG. Precompose Splatter 2 PNG and name it Splatter 2. Select both splatter 1 and 2 and pre-compose them and name it splatter. Toggle on transparency grid. Go to project panel and add spray 2.move into comp. Go to timeline and move forward to 2 seconds. Select Rectangle Tool. Set Stroke to None and Fill to White. And draw a rectangle on Spray Layer. Just like this. Then delete Spray.Move from Comp. Rename Shape Layer to Mat. And duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D. Set duplicated layer below splatter layer. And rename it to Frame. Select splatter layer and set track mat to Alpha Mat. If you did not find track mat then click on Toggle Switches and Modes. At left bottom corner. Select all three layers and pre-compose them and. Name it frame with splatter. Again go inside frame with splatter comp. Then go to effects and presets panel and add drop shadow. On matte layer. Set softness to 5. Select drop shadow effect and press ctrl c to copy it. Select frame layer and press Ctrl V to pest it. Go to main comp. Then go to project panel and add logo into comp. Press S key on keyboard to see scale property. And scale it down to fit on frame. And adjust position also by pressing P key on keyboard.
Select frame with splatter layer and set track map to alpha inverted. Select both layers and pre-compose them. And rename to frame. Go to Project Panel and add Spray 2. Move into Comp. Pre compose Spray 2. Move. And name it Spray 2 Move. Go inside Spray 2 Comp, and right click on Spray 2. Move, then go to Time, and enable Time Remapping. Then stretch Spray. Move layer to end of timeline. Go to Main Comp. Then go to 1 second and 8 frames forward on timeline. And move forward. Spray 2. Dot move layer till you see starting of it. Just like me. Then go back at 20 frames on timeline. Press S key, and then press Shift R to see scale and rotation properties together. Set keyframe on both of them. Move back at the beginning of timeline and drag down frame layer out of sight. Set rotation to minus 32.0 degree just like me. Then go to 4 seconds, and 23 frames forward on timeline. And add keyframes on position and rotation. Move forward to 5 seconds, and 12 frames forward on timeline, and drag down frame layer out of sight and set rotation to minus 13 degree. Just set rotation to minus 23 degree. Go to Project Panel, and add Spray PNG to Comp. Press S key on keyboard to see Scale property, and scale it to 45%. Go forward to 1 second, and 8 frames, and set spray in position where spray paint begins just like me. Go back on 1st, 2nd and 5th frame just like me. Press S key on keyboard and then press Shift plus R key on keyboard to see position and rotation properties together. Set keyframes on both of them. Go backward to 13th frame on timeline, and drag spray PNG down. Till it out of sight. Set rotation to minus 25 degree. Go to 1 second and 4th frame on timeline, and keyframe on both rotation and position properties. Select both of them and easy ease them. Select frame layer then. Press U on keyboard to see all keyframes. Select all keyframes, and easy ease them. Select spray PNG layer and go to one second and 8th frame on timeline, and add keyframes on both position and rotation properties. Move forward on timeline till first line of spray paint complete. For me it is completing on 1 second, 
and 15th frame. Then adjust position by dragging spray can, to another end of spray paint. Again move forward on timeline till other line of spray paint complete. Keep doing same procedure just like me. For me full spray paint is completing on 3 seconds and 8th frame. Then I am going back to 1 frame, and adding keyframe on both position and rotation properties. Go to 3 seconds, and 19th frame forward, and drag spray can, downside till it gets out of sight. And set rotation to minus 30 degree. Then select frame layer and press U key on keyboard to see all keyframes, and select all four keyframes from right side and move them backward. Just like me. Select Spray to MOV, and Frame Layer then Ctrl D to duplicate them two times. Arrange them like one frame layer at bottom and one Spray to MOV layer at top, and remaining four arrange them, like Frame Layer, and below it Spray to MOV, again Frame Layer and below it Spray to MOV, just like me. Select second spray to MOV layer then press U key on keyboard to see all keyframes. Go to second last keyframes on timeline then select top spray to MOV layer. Then press Ctrl plus Shift plus D to split it into two parts and delete top part. Select second spray to MOV layer and set track mat to alpha mat. Select third spray to MOV layer, and set track mat to alpha inverted mat. Select second frame layer press U key on keyboard, and delete four keyframes on right side. Select first frame layer then press U key on keyboard and select four keyframes on right side. Press Ctrl plus C to copy them. Then select second spray to MOV layer then press Ctrl plus V to paste them. Select all seven layers, and pre-compose them, and name it Spray and Frame. Make new solid and set color. I am choosing this you can choose which suits to you. Name it BG. Go to Project Panel, and drag Splatter 2 PNG into Comp. I am choosing Splatter 1 but you choose Splatter 2 because it looks better. Then add fill effect on it. Click on eyedropper tool, and click on spray paint to select exact same color. Set splatter PNG layer to below frame and spray layer. 
Then press T key on keyboard to reduce opacity set at 42%. Let's look at the preview.